A Rose for Emily, by William Faulkner. When Miss Emily is young, she has many pursuers, but they are all driven away by Emily's father because he thinks the status of his family is very high, that none of the young men is good enough for his daughter. This is a pursuer. He said, "I really like Emily," but her father said, "No way." When Emily is thirty years old. Emily's father dies, but Emily refused to accept her father's death. This is her father already dies for days, but Emily thinks, "No, my father is not dead." In a summer, Emily meets a day worker, Homer Baron. After Emily starts to date him, the town people gossip about the love affair. Poor Emily. Hi, I'm Homer Baron. Emily likes him, but town people say, "Poor Emily." One day, Emily buys the arsenic. She says that it is for rats, but the town people think Emily will kill herself. Emily says, "I want arsenic." Then town people think she is going to kill herself. But then Emily also buys men's toilet set and men's clothing, including a night shirt. So the town people believe that Emily and Homer Baron are married. This is. The men's clothing, and town people think, oh, they may be married. One day, a neighbor sees Homer Baron enter Emily's house, but then people don't see him anymore. So people think Homer Baron may has left Emily. People think we don't see Homer Baron anymore. Maybe he has left. When Emily is about thirty-two, one day people smell her house is very stinky. And they complain to Judge Stevens, but Judge Stevens thinks it's very rude to say to a lady that her house is stinky, so he doesn't deal with this thing. This is the people complaining. Emily's house is so stinky, but Judge Stevens says that's rude. When Emily is about forty, she starts to teach Colonel Satori's daughters and granddaughters China painting. And Colonel Satori remits her tax. Emily thinks I don't have to pay tax anymore. When Emily is about fifty-two to fifty-four, she stops teaching China painting. Since that time, nobody visits her house, and people rarely see her. Town people think we don't see Emily for a long time. Ten years after Colonel Satori dies. Emily is sixty-two years old. The town alderman asks Emily to pay tax, but she refuses. Emily ignores the letter from the government. She thinks Colonel Satori remits my tax, so I don't have to pay. Emily dies at the age of seventy-four. The town people goes to her funeral, and Emily's two female cousins come to the funeral too. These people are only curious about her house, but not really care about Miss Emily. After the funeral, people go into Emily's bedroom, and they find Homer Baron's corpse lying in the bed with a long string of iron gray hair. This is the end of the story. Next is the analysis part. First of all, this is a gothic story. Gothic stories usually contain elements of horror, mystery, and decadence. The second point is that Emily's behavior is kind of abnormal psychology of necrophilia. It means somebody like dead people. The third point is anachronism. The narrative method of this article is not a chronological order, but uses a stream of consciousness method. Regarding the content of the article, the following points have also been sorted out. The first is why town people say "poor Emily" when she dates Homer Baron. It's because they think Emily shouldn't forget her noblesse oblige. And shouldn't date a worker. The second is the stinking smell of Emily's house. It's the rotten smell of Homer Baron's corpse. The third is why Emily refused to pay tax when the town alderman come to ask her. 
It's because of her thinking is so rigid that she thinks Colonel Sartoris has remitted her tax, although he already dies for ten years. Fourth is Emily kills Homer Baron. We think it's because she wants him to stay with her very much. But she knows that nobody supports them, and she also knows the rumors that Homer Baron is gay. In order to stay with Homer Baron forever, Emily kills him and hides his corpse in her bedroom. Fifth is what does the rose symbolize in the title? A rose for Emily. The rose symbolizes the love that Emily never has. Emily has so many pursuers when she is young. It seems that she will accept one of them, but she never does. When she meets Homer Baron, it seems like she finally has true love, but it ends in tragedy. We think the rose is like a compassionate blessing from the elder. That's all. Thank you for your listening.